Sydenham Hill. Wood, that is. Hello everyone. How is everyone? It's a beautiful day. A bit windy and rainy, that is. I'm in South London. It's different because I've always been doing North London. And we're at a place called uh, Sydenham Hill, as you've just briefly seen. Let's have a look. Here we are. We're at a path called the Cox's Walk. I'm joined here by a newcomer to the channel. She's from Birmingham. Her name is Tracy. But the one unfortunate thing is I haven't actually been to Birmingham. So, so let's just enjoy the beauty of this place. Wow. What's this? Appears <coughs> someone has tried to make a depiction of... Uh, I don't know what it is. Let's go for it. And uh, here we have the uh, traditional bin of uh, Sydenham Hill. Once again, South London, an area called Dulwich. Does that say... Well, I think it says... It says... Royal shit. So yeah, it's still uh, some pretty interesting things to see. But, um... What can you do if you have to... If, if you need to ascribe a bin? Whoever does that. So it's just a brief uh, exploration of Sydenham Hill. We will of course do it fully in one day in full. But today we're going to a place, as plans always potentially change, we're going to a place called Dawson's Hill, which is in the borough of Southwark, in a quaint town called Dulwich. Yeah, let's do this. A brief uh, excursion, and a full on excursion to Dulwich, to Dawson's Hill, where we'll be delighted with a better view, a beautiful view that is. Of course, definitely not the best of weathers, as we've already described. Being with Tracy is a is an experience. Far better than Robert could ever be. Oh well. This must be South London's oldest graffiti. Bit of inspiration on our way to Dawson's Hill. Wow. Just before we, before we get to the hill, when you do arrive here, you, you do get to see a nice landscape of the roads and the homes in the distance. Uh, we're looking definitely into South London, further afield, but that's definitely a, definitely a sight to see. Okay, so we might not yet have made it to Dawson's just yet, but it's getting a bit extreme right now. Um, I've left it to the good na will nature of Tracy of uh, protecting herself using an umbrella. And um, of course, me needs to do the talking, so. But yeah, it's intense. I can feel the hailstorms. It's coming in bad. But this is what I call a form of extreme local suburban vlogging of sorts and yes beautiful um, yes we might not be able to make it this time round we'll be back again we'll be back you might have already probably noticed the pattern right now that I'm uh, going to places uh, halfway Halfway on, I don't get to make it. That's because I want to leave you guys in suspense. That's also because of uh, of uh, unforeseen consequences or natural uh, natural occurrences that are preventing me from proceeding any forward. I think this is a this is a great example of why we might not be able to, pr to pr proceed any further. You might not be able to see me right now. That's because the camera is completely it's completely smudged by the 
the intensity of the experience of this. Hopefully that makes things clearer. It's extreme. Yes, we'll be back. We'll always be back. South London awaits. I know I've been doing North London a lot. The South London shall await. This is Dawson's Hill. Beautiful. Blissful. And majestic. And if you're from, uh, if you're a tourist, come from the overseas, if that's you in the plane, could that be Singapore Airlines? British Airlines? British Airlines? It looks like a Singapore. Or if you're coming from Singapore, or from wherever, come down here to Dawson's Hill. Traditional bin there, there's a bench there. And a nice block of flats. An estate, that is. 15 minutes ago, we're about to go up this walk. But, uh, well, far, flash forward 15 minutes later, We've made it. So the moral of the story is to not give up despite the odd occasional mishap. So I'm going to cherish this moment for a while, take some B-roll footage and enjoy the London skyline. I know what you're thinking. I probably should have taken this entrance. So as my vlog comes to the end, I'd like to thank you guys, girls, ladies, everyone. He, she, they, them. It was an experience to be had with the weather. If you do like what you see, if you didn't like what you see, then by all means, click the uh, appropriate button. But uh, as for Sydenham Hill, the botched attempt at vlogging, um, I'll be back. Sydenham Hill, I'll be back for you. It's not over yet, Sydenham Hill. We'll be back. We're back again. This time, slightly better weather conditions. And this time, tragically, without my female companion, Tracy, who I very much adore because she's a female and hopefully a bit of inspiration. Get the female viewers in. Hello there, ladies. Yeah. Cox's Walk, Cinnamon Hill, South London. One of the rarities of a uh, of my visits. Well, I'm pro North London. But yeah, back here, back to here to enjoy the brief view, the walk that I couldn't finish the other time because we have to go to Dawson's Hill. Anyway, yeah. Place of majestic wonders here. And uh, yeah, according to the according to the uh, tourist boards of Sydenham Hill, 
uh, at one point in its time, aside from being a vast woodland, there used to be, or seemingly there is about 200 species of uh, trees. And that also potentially includes fungi, you know, those mushrooms that grow. Along with fungi are also insects and birds, which we've just seen one. Can't particularly say for sure if I've seen a, a, a mushroom of sorts myself. If I did see one, I'll let you guys know. But <coughs> yeah, a little bit of a appreciation towards the greenery of uh, South London. And we're gonna head a bit more upwards. There seemingly should be a gate, or a bridge that is, which uh, connects on to another place which will lead to a famous place for South Londoners. It's called Crystal Palace. If you're up there in the plane, be sure to uh, subscribe. Anyway, this is... Uh, let's take a look out there. That is the world-famous Crystal Palace. A beacon for South Londoners, a place uh, stemming with history, architecture and brilliance, but also a beacon of hope for a future vlog. Thanks guys. Let's just check out the, uh, let's see if we can go through this bit, if we can, that is. Okay, so this must be the, the old bridge. Fox's footbridge up to. Yeah, probably can't go any further afield, but look, anti climb paint. Just gonna take a selfie of me, of the footbridge behind me, surrounded by these uh, rather sharp gates. Can't climb on them. Let's peek in. And there is the uh, bridge once upon a time used as a gateway potentially to reach Crystal Palace. Somewhere up there, oh my hands can go through, uh, I'm free. Uh, somewhere up there is where that beacon is. And Cinnamon Hill Wood, an extension of that trail, leads up ahead. But I'm going to save that for a sequel. But glad we got to see a bridge, even if it's cordoned off, of sorts. Until another time, guys, girls, very, everyone. You can hear noise in the distance. Don't worry, South London is generally a peaceful place. Also, they say. <laughs> or maybe not. I can't forget about that either, too. <laughs> <laughs> 